Hey guys, it's Ross Gordon on the Space Couch. Today we're going to be having a look at this. I'm not going to be unboxing this just yet because now that I've seen it up close, I really like the packaging. So we'll be having a look at that. So let's just bring that closer. You can see it's not a bad likeness considering the era it's from of John Sheridan and that little space station as well. So it does say John Sheridan in Earth Force uniform with Babylon 5 space station, but I don't think that was the Earth Force uniform. Wasn't that the uniform they had when they declared independence? Yeah, that's what I thought anyway, from what I recall. So yes, hard shell on the outside here, and obviously you see the inner plastic layer there. Now, nice picture of the station there. Then all this on the back. So there's lots of information there. You can just see the captain there. So let's see what it says. The Babylon Project was launched by Earth Alliance President Luis Santiago in 2249 following the conclusion of the Earth Minbari War. The project's goal was to create an environment in which humans and aliens could resolve their differences peacefully and, above all, avoid another war based on a misunderstanding. Babylon 5 came online in 2256 and turned fully operational in 2257. The station is located in an area of neutral space, the Euphrates sector, sector sorry, relatively central to the five major powers, the Earth Alliance, the Mumbari Federation, the Nan Regime, the Centauri Republic and the Volon Empire. When the Nan Centauri War broke out in 2259, it was the beginning of the end for Babylon 5's peacekeeping mission. However, in 2260, the station assumed a greater function as the last best hope for victory in the war against the shadows. Captain John J. Sheridan assumed command of Babylon 5 space station on 8th of January 2259 following the reassignment of Commander Sinclair to the Mumbari homeworld as the Earth Ambassador. Sheridan is a celebrated tactical thinker who is particularly good at fighting a superior enemy and overcoming adverse odds. He is also a patriot who will fight to protect Earth from both internal and external threats, or as they say, enemies foreign and domestic. Babylon 5 space station, and you can see it there, another nice image of it in the Euphrates sector. The station is five miles long and its cast casing alone weighs two and a half million tonnes. It can house approximately a quarter of a million inhabitants at a time and is visited by 50 and 60 ships daily. So it's a very busy station. Now it also has collect all the Babylon 5 collector series figures. And there you see them there. Delenn, Londo and Jakar. All classic characters. Giants in science fiction. All three of them. They're into play. The stuff of legend. They were... All of these guys, just such great characters. The best in the TV show, these two, I think. I loved Londo and Jakar. And Delenn was always so inspiring. So, yes, that's just a look at this. And, like, it does feel like this bubble is loose. But I'm going to leave it unboxed for a little while. I'm sure we shall unbox it in due course. But, yeah, now I see it up close. Because when it's in the shop, it's just, like, hanging up, like, higher than I am, he didn't get a proper look at it. But yes, now that I have it, I'm very happy to have acquired it. I didn't really know there was any Babylon 5 figures. I've never seen them before. Certainly, it's only with books and a few comics. But now that I have this, maybe I'll be able to find the others. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.